Hello and welcome to Country Craft Creations Homemade YouTube Hop. So we are all doing um, different projects that you can make for gifts for the holidays, for birthdays, whatever it may be. Um, and I am here with my project. So what I have done is I have taken these little shadow box frames and using just paper scraps and ephemera and whatnot, I have decorated and um, gotten these ready to go. So these frames come in a four pack at Michael's. I believe they were $24 if they were not on sale and there were no coupons. But the frames are almost always on sale and there's always coupons. So clearly you can get them for a lot less. Um, what I've done, and I'm going to move these kind of off to the side, and we'll go through them one at a time. What I have done is I have taken one of the frames, and in this case I used the Doodlebug Barbecue line. I have taken some of the ephemera pieces from the Odds and Ends pack, uh, some of the stickers from the sticker sheet with the collection, and then some of the mini icons that also come with the collection, and I have created this little shadow box frame. This one, out of the four that I did, this is probably the most complicated one. I did an element in here with some acetate, so where you see this picture of my son when he was about a year and a half, this is actually on foam dots on a piece of acetate that's set forward, so it kind of stands up and kind of floats there in the frame in front of my little scene that I built in the background there. Literally, all I used for this were a couple of the um, ephemera pieces from the odds and ends, a couple of the stickers, and then just two pieces from the petite prints that match this collection. And, you know, very quickly I have something that I could give to my mom as, you know, just or I could display in my home, you know, what have you. So my second one, and we go through kind of the whole process with this. Um, this is not so much a, a tutorial as it is a process video. So we do go through all of this in the video that's going to follow this, this little walkthrough. We also go through with this one. So let me zoom back out just a tiny bit here. So for this one, I used the new North Pole, Simple Vintage North Pole collection from Simple Stories, which I cannot even tell you how much I love this. I think I bought, I know Tammy sold out of it really, really quickly, and I'm probably to blame for that. So for this one, I used a couple of papers from the 6x8 paper pad that Simple Stories has for this collection. I used um, some of the ephemera pieces, and I've got this one just sitting loose because I could not find the picture that I want to go in this in the right size. I need to get it printed, but I was going to add that to it once I have that picture. All I have done here is just fussy cut out... Um, one of the elements off of one of the papers in the 6x8 pad. I've just got ephemera pieces here and then one of the stickers from the sticker book there. And again, you've got a really cute project that would make a great gift for, you know, a, a grandparent or, or something. Um, and then I ended up doing two more because I had frames and I had pictures printed because I wasn't sure which ones I was going to use. For this one, I used Camp Happy Bear from Photoplay, which is another of the newer lines that came out this summer. And, you know, I've just got a picture in here of my dad with my son um, when he was about, it was about a year and a half. So, I mean, this picture and the one in the um, doodle bug were taken, you know, maybe a month and a half, two months apart. And, um, you know, this was at my mom's cabin. And she's got bears all over the place at her cabin. So you've got the little bear over here in the picture that's looking uh, that's on the carved thing that's on the deck looking in. You've got another bear here. So I mean, it, it was perfect to use Camp Happy Bear for this. I've got a couple of the sticker elements and some of the ephemera pieces. 
and then just a couple of just small pieces of paper from the collection and you you know you come up with with a really cute very easy very quick to put together project and my last one I used Authentique Manly and again this is I think the same trip um, so again my dad with my son and for this one I literally used a couple of scraps um, fussy cut a couple of pieces out of one of my scraps and then just some of the um, stickers from the sticker sheet that I've popped up here and that's what's fun about all of these projects is you can pop all of these elements up and because you're in this shadow box frame and you've got that space you can really make these really dimensional and make these really stand out um, so that's really kind of fun so like this one you can kind of see how this one's sitting up above uh, the picture that I intend to go in here will sit down underneath, partially underneath where I fussy cut this out. You know, I've got my elements here that uh, are all popped up. And then again, too, with the doodle bug one, as you can see, there's lots and lots of layers going on on this one. So let's get to the process video. All right, so this is really more of a process than a tutorial but um, I think this is something that you're really going to enjoy and it would make a really fun gift for family members um, really even just a cute home decor piece so what I have are these shadow box frames from Michaels the, these are the five by seven they do come four to a package I think they were like twenty four dollars without a coupon or them being on sale so you can get them much cheaper than that which makes this a really good one um, for like Christmas presents or something for family members like grandparents that kind of thing so um, what we're gonna do first thing we need to do is we need to measure this backing so this is the back of the frame that I pulled out it is five by seven so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna mat this with because for this particular one we are using the um, doodle bug odds and ends and the barbecue paper I just need to decide if I'm going to use one of the well not that one clearly one of the um, prints on this back piece or if I'm going to use one of the matching um, petite prints, which I think I'm going to do with the petite prints, and I think what I'm going to do, because the way we're doing this, we're, we're essentially building kind of a little scene that um, is going to be in the background here. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mat this with some blue. Okay, and then I'm going to use green. I just have to decide which one. So I think I'm going to use probably this tone on tone blue polka dot and then probably this green for like just kind of a border like a grassy border in the frame here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my matting piece so that we can get that glued on there and give it time to adhere down and dry. So I don't know, I'm sure most of you know how to do this. Sorry, I've got to turn this, oh that was nice, I just bunged that up. Um, how to get four or five by seven sheets or mats out of one um, 12 by 12 paper. So I've got my paper at five inches here. I'm gonna start my blade at seven inches and go straight up. I'm gonna turn it. Actually, I'm gonna turn it over. I have a little bit easier time doing it this way. And this blade is terrible. Oh my gosh. I need to find my replacement blades. Just one second, sorry about that. Just open. Maybe. 
Apparently that's what I get for cutting photos with this, huh? <laughs> okay. So let's try this. So I've got this, whoops. Line this up out at seven. I'm gonna start at five. And there's my first five by seven. We're gonna whip off this brand new strip down here really quickly. And I'm gonna turn this here. I'm gonna go to seven inches again. I'm gonna start at five, turn it again. And this is where I find it helpful to turn it over. And we're gonna go up. And there is something I have just totally screwed up. <laughs> okay, but you get the basic idea. I should not have gone all the way through. I needed to do this one again at five inches, but that's okay. Because this is still usable, and I'm just gonna set those aside. So, we're gonna go ahead and glue that down. Very generous with the glue here because I do want not want this to come up. I do not want this to bubble. Apparently I also am incapable of lining it up straight because of course I'm, I am. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we've got our base piece there. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna get out our odds and ends. And we're going to, on top of this, because this is gonna give us our sizing, you'll see in here we've only got maybe an eighth of an inch where this outside comes over the glass. Okay, so we don't have to, you know, be too mindful of where things kind of, you know, run up to the edge because they're, you're going to see them. It's not going to, ultimately, it's not going to matter. So what I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to build my scene. So I just need to decide what elements I'm going to use. So I'm not going to use any of the big food. Probably not going to use that one. I mean, I could. I could do this, you know, more kind of zeroed in if I wanted to. Um, I definitely want my little sunshine back here. So I'm going to just kind of go through here and pick out elements that I want to have. Let's see, I've got two different suns there. I think I'm going to go with that one. Another cute cloud. Another cute tree there. And this would be a really fun one with um, a bunch of little clouds in here. I love it. This would be a really fun one to do with even a bigger frame. This was just what I happened to grab when I was in there the other day. So I've got that. And what we're going to do, so we're going to have like our sun and our little cloud are going to stay on this piece in the back. Okay. We are going to go ahead and pop those up. What we are also going to do is I am going to take as soon as I find it, a piece of acetate and I am going to cut this to five and a half inches. And this one isn't quite seven inches. This is just literally the leftovers from another project. 
So this one's actually about six and a half, which is fine. We don't want it to go all the way over. But what we're going to do, is I figure out where my scoreboard went. You're going to score this acetate. Okay. So with our six, I'm sorry, with our five and a half at the top, we are going to score this at half an inch. Okay. And what this is going to do is we're going to have. Score that a little bit better. Oh, there it goes. Okay. What we're going to do is we can float this part way out. Oops. So we would adhere this to the bottom of our frame. Okay. We can then put a photo mat on here and then we can layer our other elements so we're going to pop these two little guys up so I'm going to put my cloud flat I'm going to pop up my little sunshine back here this is going to stand up in front of it so we're going to be able to layer something like this on top of it okay we're going to be able to layer and pop up trees behind it Okay, and we can build a little scene that's going to go around our picture. And this is so staticky, I apologize. Um, that's going to go around our little picture map because this is just going to give it an Ill the illusion that there that the picture map is just kind of floating inside our our frame there. One thing, if you're not using this exact frame, if you're using something shallow or something deeper, you're going to want to measure how much space you have in this frame. So we've got three quarters of an inch to play with. With just using foam dots, that's a ton of space. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and kind of figure out where I want my trees and things. And you can actually, just for dimension, you can actually run these off the side and trim them off. Because that's going to give you a little bit more, you know, kind of not have it look so polished. I don't know. I'm not even sure how to explain what it is I'm trying to do here. Okay, so we've got our little table. The other thing we're going to use, as soon as I figure out where I can put them, are the icon stickers and the mini icon stickers. So, for example, I think my picnic table is really too big, so I'm not going to use the picnic table from the odds and ends for this. You know, I've got on the icon sticker, I've got this adorable little hot air balloon that I can pop up, you know, back over here in one corner. Um, we've got a cute little picnic basket. We've got a smaller tree. We've got some other little things that we can put in here where that picnic table was really too big. So, you know, we've got a much smaller one here, which is still really on the small side. So we're going to kind of go from here. So I know I want my cloud. Actually, I think I'm going to do it that way. Okay, I want my cloud down first. So we're going to go ahead and glue down the cloud. We're going to do him about right there. Okay. I'm going to take my little sunshine and I'm going to get my pop dots or foam squares, whatever you want to call them. When I started scrapbooking, they were the ones you saw everywhere were like called pop dots. And I haven't seen that particular one for a very long time, but it's just habit. You know, kind of like all tissue or Kleenex. <laughs> if you're down south, all sodas are Coke, regardless of what it really is. <laughs> that kind of thing. 
Okay, so we're gonna go about right here with that one. We're gonna put this little tree on this side and we're gonna pop him up. And we don't have to go too nuts with our foam squares because it's not like this is something that's going to be handled, okay? So in this one, I'm gonna do two. If you've got foam tape, you can use foam tape. It's entirely up to you. Okay, I'm gonna put him there. So he's right kind of at the edge. And then I think I'm actually gonna use that little tree icon and we're gonna kind of put him, we're gonna pop, just stick one little thumb square on his back. And we're gonna kind of put him up like so. And what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this to seven inches. And then I'm going to cut just a couple of strips. So I'm going to do a two inch. And then I think I'm going to do a one inch. Okay. And again, these don't have to be perfect because of the way we're going to put this all together. And then all I am going to do is I am just going to freehand a little rolling hill that's going to kind of come. This is the other reason I love these things because they're very easy to pull up and adjust. But that's going to come in here like so. On this one I am going to use foam tape and really I can do this one and then I can actually take that scrap and do that right over the top and I think that's what we're going to do for right now. So this one in the back I am actually going to clean up just a tiny bit because I have one weird little ragged edge in there. Okay so this one I'm going to glue And this literally is, you know, kind of your own best judgment. Like what, what you think is going to look good. And you can do this with any paper collection. You don't have to have the doodle bug collection to do this. So this one I'm going to, actually I'm not sure where my roll is, so we're just going to use the squares. It's fine. And where are my little ones? There's some little ones. Okay. And I think I am going to double this one up just because this one's doubled up and his tree trunk is kind of sticking up there a little bit because then we can glue the bottom of that tree trunk down onto this just to kind of give it some you know kind of solidify it so he's not just like floating around in space there okay Okay, just do a little tab of glue on there and glue that down. Okay, so there's our first piece part. This piece is going to sit up over the top. So what we're going to do on this one, we're going to start because again, you're not going to see this, so it's not going to. It's going to blend in with the bottom of that frame, so it's not going to really matter. I'm going to go ahead and just run 
score tape because of course you can't glue acetate like so and that will go in underneath okay and you don't have to put a picture in this if you don't want to that's just you know kind of my thinking as far as how I want to do this find and I hope I printed the right size I don't know I don't think I did yes, that one could work so we'll trim this one down because I want it to kind of sit right there so I'm just going to eyeball about where I need to trim this This is a really old one. This is from like the first like real like neighborhood barbecue type thing that my son got to go to. He was like a year and a half at this point. Not quite. Yeah, about a year and a half. Not quite two yet. So that's going to sit. And yes, it is going to partially cover up our stuff. But the way this is going to get layered, it's not going to matter. So we're going to do it kind of to this side. So I'm going to hold this here, and then I'm going to cut a little mat for this to go on that's then going to go down on here. So let me see what color I want to use for that. I think for that one I'm going to use yellow. So that's two and three quarters by three and an eight. So I'm going to go three and a half. And then what did I say the height was on this? Yeah, three and a half. So, and then we're going to go three and seven eighths. So I'm going to mat him on there. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this up on that acetate. So we will center the acetate when we get it into the into the frame. So I'm going to put him about right there. Okay. So see, this is going to float out from the rest of our little scene. So now we need to figure out what we're going to put on this little front section. And I think I really want to use that balloon. So I'm going to put this little hot air balloon back here because it's just going to be another little element that's going to kind of draw your eye towards that part of the box. And it gives it a little bit more color. Okay, so then this is sitting on top. Okay, so now we just need to figure out what other little pieces and parts, and this is where I'm going to get out the mini icons, and we're going to kind of see what our options are there, combined with the icon stickers, the full-size icon stickers. So, we've got our picnic table, we've got a little picnic basket, a little grill, We've got some more little clouds. So really, we could do another little cloud here. And that one I am going to stick just directly down on the acetate. Okay. I think 
he needs to come over just a hair. There we go. And there we go. Okay. And then I think we are going to go ahead and use this little bitty table. It's almost too small. Okay, I'm going to put him back. I think we're going to go with the picnic basket. That one's still a little bit on the tiny side, so I know there's one in here somewhere. Here it is. And that's too big, so we are going to go with that one. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one up again. And I'm going to do it two times. And we're going to put that over here. And then I think we're going to use that one. And we're going to layer that just a little bit behind it. Okay. So we've got those. They actually need to come up, I think, just a tiny bit from the bottom. I think I've got them too low. Okay. There we go. That's better. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of lay this over the top and see if I have things kind of lined up where I want them to be. And I do need to take just a tiny bit off the top of this, which I was kind of afraid of, but that's okay. So I just took maybe an eighth of an inch off the top of that because I do not think I did it right while I scored. Okay, so. This is going to come in here, and I'm still off. But fortunately, it's acetate, so we can move our stickers <laughs> if we need to. I'm going to take just another little sliver off. There we go. All right, so. We are going to put this down. I'm going to set it in there like that. Okay. We need something else kind of on this side. And I think the other thing I'm going to add here is going to be an ant or two. And we're just going to do those flat on. And really, I can do that. Nah, I don't want to do that. There we go. Where's my other one? There it is. So yeah, I mean, at this point, you're really just kind of using your best judgment. What do you think looks good? What do you think needs to be added? Um, and there we go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get the backing off of my score tape. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to turn this up on its end so I can kind of see where I'm lining it up. Okay. 
and we need to trim just a hair off of this tree because he is going to be right up against the side there. Okay. And see, you cannot see that score tape. We're going to pop our little back piece in here. And there we have our little shadow box floating picture. So the other thing we can do is I figure out where they are, is we can add elements around the outside of our frame. You could you could actually take some of your patterned paper and trim it to fit and actually mat the outside of your frame if you wanted to and cover it. You can just take some more of your, your little, um, I literally just had one in mind, and attach them to the outside edges of the frame. If you want to. So like I could add something like that. I could use these icons because they are smaller. You know, if you had a bigger frame, this would be absolutely adorable with a larger um, with a larger shadow box frame and, and able to use some of the larger elements here. It would be absolutely adorable. So I had a plan. I don't know where my one went. Was it not in this? Was it in the other? So yeah, so I could take like my little ice cream cones and put them on here. Um, where's my here it is? Okay, so we've got the chit chat. So we can take this if I wanted to, and I'm not actually going to use these on this because I'll end up using them on another project later. You could run your banner across there, but then that's going to cover up some of our little stuff inside, which we don't want to do. We could put this up at the top. In fact, that is adorable like that. But again, I don't want to use that one on this one. Um, and then where is my... I promise, I really had this planned. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like it at the moment, but. So yeah, so we've got, you know, we could use that border strip on here, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because it's just adorable. There we go. So we've got that. I can use that one up there. And really, I kind of like it just that. There we go. That's what we'll do. All right, and there you go. And this will look adorable just sitting on a shelf. Let me get reset, and then we'll do the Christmas one. Okay, so for our second one, we're going to use the new Simple Stories Simple Vintage North Pole. I have the 6x8 paper pad. I have the um, bits and pieces. And 
the reason I'm doing it with this one in large part because this I love this paper I can't even tell you but just to kind of show you how you can change this up you don't have to have you know some little cutesy collection like the doodle bug where you've got all these different little elements that you can use you can do it with something that's you know much more straightforward so I've got one of the six by eight sheets here that I've cut down to five by seven so we're gonna do the same thing we did before but we're gonna glue this one down and I don't think I printed I'm gonna have to like dig in my pictures in the closet but I don't think I printed a Christmas picture for this one so that I can show you what it looks like with the picture in it and all completely done okay this one we're gonna do it portrait instead of landscape and what I've done is I've taken another one of those six by eight sheets and I have fussy cut this little strip off the side of that sheet so and that's what's cool with the 6x8 is you just have smaller versions of the big 12x12 12 12, and it works perfectly for a project like this. So we are going to have to trim this off on the top and bottom, but I'm not going to do that until we actually have this adhered down where we want it to go um, just to make sure I'm trimming it right. So on this one, what I'm going to do, we're going to do this just a little bit differently. So we're going to find a good red in here to cut a photo mat of. See, that would have been really pretty too, actually. I want the Santa. So that's too busy together. And there's one in here somewhere that is just... So there's that. Going back to the beginning again, aren't I? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go with the snowflakes. And I think I'm gonna do I think four by six is gonna be too big, but we're gonna try. Nope, I think four by six is about perfect. We're gonna do it more to this this left side. And I am actually gonna pop that up that I did finally find <laughs> my foam tape. So this foam tape that is available in the store in the in on, on Country Craft Creations, the tape is actually thinner than the foam squares, which I think are also available. And, or at least they were. And I can tell you from experience, her price on them is really, really good. <laughs> um, just because I tend to use quite a, quite a few of them and I usually buy them from Amazon. Um, the price Tammy's got is actually better. Okay. So, we're going to put this in. Oops, don't stick it in that. No, no, no. I'm going to do it over to this side and to the top. Okay. This one, because I do want it to stand up just a bit higher, we are going to use the normal foam squares. And again, we don't need a ton. We just need it to stick down and stay put without it really kind of like bowing in. You know what I'm trying to say. It's just not coming out. I wonder... I know exactly which picture I have I want on this. I just am gonna to have to go look and see if I've got an extra copy of it printed since I've lost my photo printer. How do you lose a photo printer? I mean, seriously. Okay, so again, we're gonna come in just a hair 
from that edge. We're going to put that down. And really, what I should do, smart thing to do here, would be to leave the backing on the squares that are further out. So it's going to sit right, but until we get a picture in here, it's not actually like stuck down. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this back on there really quickly. Okay, so we've got that. That is going to sit, of course, in here. Okay, since we've got that down where we want it, we can go ahead and trim off that little bit that's hanging off the sides. And then we can get in here with our ephemera and figure out which little pieces we want. So see that one's just adorable. That would have been good if you didn't want to, you know, fussy cut that out. Let's see here. I like that little stamp. I like that. And oh, that needs to go somewhere because that's adorable. I don't want that one. Let's see here. Oh, I have one of those that was red, maybe not. All right, so now we're going to do like we did before. Only this one, we're not doing any acetate. Okay, whoops. Well, and it helps if you're sticking them together if you pull the backing off of when you're trying to stick it to. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I want that one probably flush on the bottom there. So I'm actually going to just get a little bit of glue on the bottom of that one. I'm going to set that there. I'm going to put a foam square on the back of this one. Set up like that. I think I'm going to use this one somewhere else. So, literally, what did that just take us? What, five minutes? Maybe? Ten at the most? That's not supposed to be over here. So, I think I want that. I'm going to leave that one out because I think I'm going to want that on the picture itself when I, as soon as I figure out where it is, I get it in here. So again, we're just going to pop that in the back here. And there you have it. So now we can do the same thing we did before. And we can just add some, um, which I think I'm actually going to use a little bit of score tape on this bottom one. So just in the bottom corner of this, just to make sure, because I don't know that glue is going to stick to this. It's kind of a um, kind of a plastic kind of. But I know my score tape will hold on that, so. Or if you wanted to get really crazy and you've got, um, you know, like E6000 or something like that, you can absolutely do it that way too. And that one, because it's going on top of 
paper. We're going to pop that one up. And where did I put it? There it is. I've also got the sticker book for this collection, and it's absolutely adorable. And it's got these little borders in here that are really, really cute. So I think I'm going to take that one right there. And I think I'm going to put it up here at the top of our frame. Because it kind of looks like a little bit of washi tape. Got a little bit of a different look there. And there you go. There's another one of our frames. I'm going to hold this one, that little piece out because I am going to stick that on the photo as soon as I figure out if I have an extra one printed because I know exactly which picture needs to go in there. But, you know, same basic idea. Two different ways. Either would be, you know, you can, like I said, you can do this with pretty much any collection. And I might, because I've got a couple more of the frames, um, I might throw together a couple more that I'll put um, just some pictures of at the end of the video. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. It's it's a very easy project. It's not a time-consuming project. Um, it's just something very simple that you can do. And uh, that would make a great gift. That would make, you know, just even a cute you know, something for you to sit out, you know, at and in your home. So um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.